ان الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله الكريم وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم Did you think this was going to be in English? <laughs> okay, we'll do it in English. My name is Yusuf. Can you say Yusuf? Yusuf. Oh, they got it right the very first time. Mashallah, my wife still pronounces it useless. <laughs> Could be a speech and peppermint. I'm not really sure about that. Anyhow, yeah, we're here and we're having a good time. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Everybody having a good time? Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong. <laughs> that was last week. How many of you enjoyed Sahib Webb's program? Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. First time I've heard Sahib give a speech in, let's see, since 2002. Or 2000, yeah, 2002 we were up in New Jersey together. So all this time he's been studying over there. Look what he learned how to... They tell us about people using the bathroom in a masjid, mashallah. <laughs> and Sister Megan, mashallah. I didn't know she was giving speeches. You know, I've known them since uh, when we were in Columbus, Ohio. That was maybe 10 years ago. So all of these shababs and shababettes, mashallah. <laughs> I don't know the word, I just make it up as I go, you know. They're coming along and they're doing a great job and I'm really proud of them. And the brothers and sisters and some of them, they, when I was here some years ago, they were little guys and other big guys, you know, mashallah. It, it makes me feel good to see it, that action, the activity and this excitement, enthusiasm uh, in Arabic is called Hamas, right? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like George Bush, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what was I going to say? Alright. I'm from Texas, you figured that out already, yeah? Alhamdulillah. But I didn't vote for him. No, sir. I, I was real happy to vote for President Osama. Obama! That... Cut. Back up the tape. Alright. I'll get that out of the way. Alhamdulillah. The praises to Allah. We have a lot of guests here. Our guests, not Muslim. Raise your hand again, real quick. Okay, there's your targets, guys, watching you. As they go back to the parking lot. It is sad when we have to begin our programs out defending our right to even breathe. And in some cases, we feel like that. We feel like that uh, we're being scrutinized and looked at uh, under a magnifying glass that any mistake we make is going to be, you know, on YouTube tomorrow and maybe on the six o'clock news the next day. So, but it is good in a way for us. Let's look at it at a bright side. That you and I know that we will have to answer for everything we've done on the day of judgment. Allah will ask us how we behaved, what we did, how we used the resources that He gave us. So this kind of in a way prepares us for that, you know. Realizing that people are looking at you, knowing that every little mistake you make, yeah, well, so what? You shouldn't be doing it. That's it. Be good. And then you know, nobody can complain, right? Well, anyhow, what I wanted to do really was just uh, play with my little game of words. I enjoy words very much. And I found that they're an excellent way to communicate. And I've been trying to use words for a very long time. I'm going to be using some tonight, as a matter of fact. And while we're doing that, we'll break it down and try to get an understanding of what we mean by what we say. And it, it is true that the way we use words can change from one decade to another. For instance, if somebody, when I was a kid, told me that they had been out all night long, you know, and surfing, and they came home with a whole lot of bites, I would assume that they went down to the water and a lot of, maybe fishing, they got a lot of bites on the 
thing or maybe mosquito bites. Then I would be surprised to find out, no, he's talking about, he was on the internet surfing and the bites he's talking about are B-Y-T-E-S. He's talking about the bytes, like gigabytes, megabytes, huh? Terabytes. Terabytes, that's a new one, isn't it? Terabyte? Yeah, just take a bite and tear it up. I don't know. I don't know, what is this stuff? There's a lot of stuff, right? So words change, you know? When I was a kid, you were really happy. Hey, you were gay. <laughs> Let it ride. Yeah, okay, don't say nothing else. So what I thought we should do is break it down and make it simple. A couple of words I'm going to talk about, I'll be done, finished. First word is Allah. And I remember, when I was a new Muslim, Texas, a guy comes up to me, How come you don't say God like normal people? Hmm. Why do you say Allah? Won't you say God? Be normal, boy. <laughs> Shakes the head, by the way, he's from Oklahoma. We forgive him for that. <laughs> I don't know if you know about the Texas OU game. That's a big thing every fall, every October. That's a big deal. Our university against their university. But seriously, I had to reflect on that because I did grow up hearing the word God meaning the only one to worship, the one almighty, the creator, the sustainer, the one that gives life and gives death, the one that's in charge. And this is God. To somebody growing up where I grew up. And so, I was the same way when I was looking at this word, Allah, why don't you just say God like normal people? But watch the line of questioning that could come back. If a Muslim really wanted to get on your case, look what he could ask you. So, you say God, you know? And you're a Christian. Yep, that's right. Well, do all the Christians say God? Way better. Well, actually they don't. Huh? They don't. Where are all the Christians in the world? Well, most of us is over here off of Center Street and down over. No. No. Let's broaden your horizons a little bit. Let's look around the world. We got about six billion human beings walking and talking on the planet, doing this and that and the other, right? And out of those people, how many are Christian? About a fourth. Roughly, give or take, about a fourth of those people are Christian. Do you know that? And do they all say God? No. 75%? No. Half? Mm -mm. Not even half. The reason I'm telling you that because the majority, the one single largest group of Christians is Catholic in the world today. And the largest majority of the Catholics in the world today don't speak English as their mother language. Did you know that? Now, they speak French, Italian, a lot of them are speaking Spanish. Some of them are speaking other languages in Europe. A lot of Catholics out there and they're not using the word God. Go look at the translations. I challenge you to do that. All you have to do is go to any hotel or motel on the planet. And when you go into the motel room, there's a drawer right beside the bed. Open it up. What's going to be in there? The yellow pages is already gone. Somebody got that. They didn't want the Bible. They, you take it out. It's put there by the Gideon Society. Not Gide, Gideon. This is somebody mentioned in the Old Testament. You open it up, pick one, two, three, four pages or something like that, you know, and you'll see that they're going to tell you about all the translations that they've made to these different various languages. The first one's the Afrikaans language, which is very similar to German language. 
You can look up the German language and see. You can look up all of the different languages. Keep reading. Keep reading. Look at all the different languages because the example they gave is out of John 3.16. What is John 3.16? Anybody knows? Raise your hand if you know. I'm not going to make you say it, but if you know what I'm talking about, you know John 3.16? Get it up there. All right. I saw more Muslims raise their hand in Christian. What happened here? What's that all about? John 3.16 in English, depending on which translation you have, says, For God so loved the world. We can stop right there and look and see. Now, when it said God in English, what did it say in Italian? What did it say in French? What did it say in Spanish? German. In Belgium. Swedish. Norwegian. Danish. Go look. Doesn't say God. Oh, oh. But what's really interesting is number two. Right after Afrikaans language, the number two language is Arabia. So let's look and see what it says there. For Arab Christians and Arab Jews. Actually it says Ali Lam Lam Ha. Allah. It says Allah. For Christians and Jews. And if you get a Bible, you can get a Bible, it's called uh, Kitab al-Maqdis in Arabic language. And I have two of them, by the way. And you can look in there on page one, Genesis. In the translation that I have to Arabic, it has 17 verses on page one in Genesis. 17 verses. Coincidentally, the word Allah is exactly there 17 times on page one. Whoops. Er, didn't know that. Making any sense here? No. Well, let's take it to another level. How many Muslims are there in the world? Anybody know? About one fourth. About the same. Give or take. Give or take. Two or three, they can't quite make up their mind what they want to do. <laughs> now, how many of those Muslims are Arabs? Huh? 90%? 50? 25? Do I hear 15? 15, 15, 15 over oh, here, I got 15. Do I hear 12? 12? Oh, well, that's a reverse option. Sorry about that. Uh huh. Okay. 12%. Maximum. 88% of all the Muslims in the world not Arabs. Not Arabs. We don't know how to ride camels. We don't. True story. So then, logically, that 88%, well, let's find out. Do they speak Arabic language? No. In fact, <laughs> after you visit Maghreb, you know, Morocco, and Egypt, you'll find out that a lot of Arabs don't speak Arabic language. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. Anyhow, the fact is, the vast majority, almost 90%, of all the Muslims on the earth, don't speak the Arabic language. True? Okay. So now, and you have Muslims from everywhere in the world here. We could take a poll, I can show you real quick. Anybody here from Egypt, raise your hand real quick. Egypt, hands up. Okay, Pakistan, hands up quickly. India, anybody from India? Here we go. Sri Lanka, anybody from Sri Lanka? Mashallah, right over here, Sri Lanka. Do I hear Indonesia? Anybody from Indonesia? Oh, we got, oh, right over here. We got Indonesia. Do we have anybody from Texas? <laughs> all right, all right. How y'all doing? Y'all take your time of going down and y'all hurry back, man. <laughs> anybody from Morocco? I can speak your language too. Couscous. But out of all of us Muslims, every single Muslim on the planet 
uses the word 